So I believe we're heading to Quidditch. So that's I exciting. I believe we are. That's exciting. We haven't done that in a while. I, mean, I wonder if this is the point where they're like, okay, fine, you can just ride around the Hogwarts grounds, which I'm all for. Yup. I uh, don't know. It's different. So uh, th there are definitely different builds of the game between this mm. and the GameCube and Xbox versions. And it just blows my mind. Like... In those versions, you could like stop. I think you could stop flying wherever you wherever you wanted to. Whereas in this, it's specific. But don't quote me on that because I'm not a hundred percent sure. Mm. I do remember. I, I I have like multiple memories of being able to fly around and land anywhere. And then sometimes me going, why can't I land anywhere? So I'm, <laughs> that, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that would be one of the like coolest things about the Harry Potter RPG if it is real. Like, oh right, yeah. Yeah, everyone just knows that I'm a parcel mouth for reasons well, now. Yes, they would. Like everyone, like rumors spread really fast in these areas. Yeah, but it's still Ooh. just weird that the the story is done so. Like, it just skips huge quantities of it. Um, mm. But it's a shame. Yeah. Um, it's some of the games do a lot better jobs. Of actually covering all the story elements, I kind of wish they were based more on the story on the. On the books, but then turning the books into games could really end up as like a cutscene fest if you're not careful. Mm. Well, it's um, yeah, like if they had a if the RPG Harry Potter game is actually real, like imagine being able to just fly around Hogwarts like with like today's graphics. Just oh, awesome. I want to fly around in Hogwarts in VR and like walking around in Hogwarts oh, in cool. VR would be amazing. That'd be so cool. Like, Why hasn't that been done yet? Um, VR just hasn't, it just hasn't got to that point where people are willing, I mean, you've you had a few experiences like Spider-Man experience, but I think what just needs to happen is we just, we just need to get, like, what everyone wants to do, like, a Star Wars experience came out, mm. I don't know why they're not doing it for Harry Potter experiences, that would, imagine if the if Oculus released that, released that, maybe they're waiting until that forced Facebook login, like, becomes a thing, properly. And then they'll release all these amazing games that you'll have to sign up to Oculus with a Facebook account. Because it looks like I won't be able to use my Oculus Rift if I uh, don't sign in with my Facebook account. Really? Mm. That's quite surprising. And, well, it, it's Facebook owning it, so... Well, but what's still... worrying is the fact of, like... I don't know what data they're going to keep on me. I don't know yeah. what, like... Are they going to say that I spent 20, 20 minutes in Beat Saber? And then when next time I ring up my, um... Oh... Oh, that looked. What's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> but that's, and, you know, if I spent twenty minutes on Beat Saber, is that they're going to declare that, and like maybe they'll be able to find. I don't know. It's all like tin foil hat stuff, but it does make you worried. So, do we actually get to play proper Quidditch at some point? It looks like it, but there are some graphical fun here. Not to say that. Yes, missing a ring decreases the charge. Gotcha. Yeah, it is a bit. Weird looking down there. Or oh, is it yep. supposed to look like that? Nope. Okay. No, that's definitely a, a graphical issue, but yeah. like hardly surprising. Eh, emulation. What can you do? Oh gosh, it's amazing this game runs at all. Um the these games do not run well on the yeah, um, it is, on Dolphin. It is hard. It's hard to get them to work well on PCSX2 and it's 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 impossible to get them to run well on Dolphin because of some things to do with them clearing um clearing buffers randomly. <laughs> Dolphin have like some VR stuff. Dolphin, actually. Um, so there's two things. That's a big question, and I don't know whether you want me to go into it in massive depth. I mean, I'm fine. When is not stopping? Out, when does it stop? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't remember it being this epic. Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's a reason why they call this that one the Fireball amazing. XL5. They don't call it the Fireball XL5 because that's a uh, old TV show. Um, uh, <laughs> my God! This that is was like so fast. Where's the screenshot? Screenshots taken two moments away from disaster. That was. Wow, I'm I'm so red and hot now. That genuinely startled and excited me. He's he, he's on fire. All right, so you can okay, boost whenever you want. Yeah, but oh, I was gonna say, where's the snitch? I see, it's that oh bastard. Um, it's the yellow thing. That bludger is evil. <laughs> You're not losing any health though. That's just something. No, I suppose it's fair. Um, 
But yeah, so there is Dolphin has the ability to output in like 3D because the GameCube hardware does, and so it's a feature of that, which makes it interesting. So like you can play a lot of games in 3D, and you can use. Whoa! What the hell happened there? I think I've got close enough to the snitch to catch it. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was horrifying. Okay, so it's less of, on of a bar now. Just say, wait till it gets to this specific area and grab oh, it. Oh, I press X. I, I thought I pressed square the first time. So I was like, oh, well done. <laughs> I don't think we actually saw him catch it then. No. It just off. It's fine. But, um, so you can play things in, like, side by side, like, all the different 3D modes. So I can basically, it's basically like watching a 3D TV on my headset, which is pretty good. Mm. Like, I've had a lot of fun playing, um, like, Zelda and just things with in like 3D, but what? what <laughs> I don't, okay. don't know what happened there. Harry was beaten up off screen, but someone released a very good demo um, of Dolph, a version of Dolphin that he dropped because of a load of things. Apparently, this dude had a load of falling outs in the Oculus subreddit, loads of falling outs with people in Oculus, and just put his hand up and went, oh, if no one's going to pay attention to me, uh, you know, and left it and made a real big fuss out of the fact that, oh gosh. I was fine. Um, oh, I, I'm <laughs> still fine. Yeah, you're fine. So it was a bit disappointing, but they released one that has head tracking support, and I played Eternal Darkness with that. Yeah, I was going to say, we played a bit scary. of that. I, I played, so, we played a bit of that when I visited. Yeah, um, I think I had it working just about, but like, what's the, what what surprised me in that game is like, if you've ever played it, the main character, Alexandra Roybus in it, she doesn't look particularly, um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for, um, realistic. Like, you look at her, and she's obviously a product of the early 5th or... Is it 6th gen? 6th gen consoles. Um, probably, like, you know, a bit N64-ish as well in some terms. And I was surprised by how quickly my brain sort of accepted her as, like, real and actually looking at me. Mm. It made me feel a bit weird, truth be told. Um, it felt like she was actually looking at me in a way that, like, triggers the whole someone's looking at me feel. Really good fun though. I need to get it working again because I tried to play through some of that game and the sanity effects really help you feel weird because obviously the screen goes Dutch, becomes like at a Dutch angle every as as the um as you get further and further insane, which makes you feel unbalanced because your head's now slightly tilting to compensate for it. So, is it like any GameCube game can be? Uh, um, done? yeah, there's a, a there's a ton of them, but there's a lot of very very specific settings that took me an age to get right and i don't know where they are anymore so i'm um oh, that's cool so yeah oh, that was good nice. an a plus and apparently I'm, I'm satisfied with that i am as well it's also tweeting tweeting trending that uh neil buchanan isn't banksy remember neil buchanan not much to be honest i didn't really you know, watch art attack you didn't really watch art attack no no did you watch smart were you a smart child i didn't watch any of them um, I, I watched a bit of that. I, so, like, I sort of, because my my mum was an artist and my dad was an architect, I sort of went out of my way to not do et or not do or see anything to do with art as a kid. Mm -hmm. Um, yay! You can now equip it in your inventory. Sweet, we are absolutely doing that. Yeah, Said something about what? forbidden. Don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, you probably can't land in certain Hello places. There. Hermione. Hermione. Oh. That's like an hour ago in the film, but... Mm -hmm. They're just walking into the trees, <laughs> never to be seen from again. <laughs> Really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. Like Hermione here, this mudblood. No, no, what, no, shut so up. The thing which makes me surprised about um, the use of the term mudblood mm. is surely you would be able to call pure brute, pure, pure blood wizards shit pants. Because, right? And hear me out. Oh, her face. Oh, uh, no. Oh. 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 Out. So, oh. the reason why is someone um, was pointing out that the reason they think that plumbing didn't become widespread in um, in the wizarding world was because they didn't want to accept a mudblood um, sorry mudblood gosh a um, a muggle invention and and I was like well if that's the case then surely the only people who would do that would be um, like not people who weren't friendly to muggles right so pure bloods 
would be the ones still shitting their pants in public and magicking it, magic it away while everyone else was just going to the toilet and yeah. having and like imagine that like suddenly finding something that gives people dignity that isn't just pooping your pants and vanishing it away surely they don't also vanish away the smell maybe they do maybe it just all smells like shit mm. but my point is there's an it becomes an interesting imbalance when um the people who aren't don't don't bother much about like purity of blood and taking muggle inventions and using them for themselves end up becoming the ones who are who don't smell like shit yeah but i still don't buy that that as a, as a thing where um where they wouldn't use it i think if i think people would realize that this is better oh, i guess you i guess maybe the thing is you have now have to wait to go somewhere to a room but then why did the girls why does the girls bathroom exist in in, in hogwarts that leads to the chamber of secrets which is before the invention of wizard no yes yes no it, it makes no sense <laughs> it doesn't it makes no sense but i i i, I just can't accept i refuse i refuse to accept this I forget what that's from. It's from some shit game. I'm anyway. Sure. But, but this is cool. Yeah. I like to rant about things. Um, specifically about how about how people pooping in their pants doesn't make any sense. I think you can fly through the gaps here as well in there. I think it, the geometry is nicely defined enough mm. for that. Oh, is this where the, like, the boats are? Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. It is. Now, this would be a cool way to go see Hogwarts when you first arrive, wouldn't it? So, good. Like the point I, about VR, like would VR work in this game on GameCube? Um, so, yes and no. For third-party games, you would t your head would take control of the camera to a degree, and then you would when you move your head, the camera would also move. But as you see in when you, when playing this game, that could be a bit disorientant, disorientating. Right. Yeah, I see. Disorienting. Um because of just the way that the camera clips through things and stays behind and is moving so your head is experiencing a movement that probably isn't as, as normal mm -hmm. now there are ways of like forcing the camera to go to the head of it i think you can get it to set it to the head of something so it's possible but then you might be able to see the inside of harry's mouth as well so <laughs> well it was it, it that's, was a good that's part of the experience right <laughs> So, because of it's because it's now so old, there is a lot of people who are no longer really paying attention to it, and so it can be hard to find settings for certain games. Right. There are games which have really good settings, like Mario Kart, for example. Mario Kart Wii, you can play sat down in the chair, oh, that's you know, cool. which I didn't get to work, but I really wanted to. Um, I think now I've got a more powerful machine, I should be able to like run it better because I, I was already doing testing this out when I was on a um, a, a machine that had a 970 and. Yeah, we're just pushing it, and, so, and the CPU was a i5 2500K, really pushing it, but the new one should be okay. I say the new one, I've had it for ages, I've never gone back to it. Yeah, I think you could. That'd be cool then. I mean, there are some of the Harry Potter, later Harry Potter games that are, um, what's the word? This is super cool, by the way. It is. The music here reminds, is super nostalgic. Oh. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> this is happening on its own. <laughs> I'm killing Harry. Uh, that was funny. I, so I used to spend hours, at, well, not hours, but it felt like like 20, 30 minutes just flying around the castle. Like as a kid, this level of like exploring and like, because there was loads of, there are actually places here that you can only get to by the broom. Yeah. Um, And they are, and they're not maybe the coolest thing ever, but what is interesting about them is... It's just how you can, yeah, like, like you can like explore it. like that, like that exactly. Like, it's cool, right? Yeah, it's really cool. One thing I should say, yes. um, and we should make known, is that we 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 never really intend to do a hundred percent speed run no. and under, sorry, hundred percent run through. And as 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 most of you well know, we have failed to even do um, the ones at the beginning just because we we missed this, stuff. Yeah, I I, I, I kind of I don't really I, mind. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to come in and backseat drive all of this because I, I like to see like you exploring and doing stuff. And if I'm telling you what the secrets are, then it's like it's a bit too much backseat. And this was never really supposed to be a like a hundred percent thing. Uh, but just about um, having fun. For, yeah, but for people who are putting the location of things we've missed in the comments, that's great because if anyone stumbles upon it and wants to see it, that means that they uh, they can. And yeah. it's also nice to know things that I do not know about this game. Yeah, I, I do know that I have to just move on to the next day, but I just want to explore a little bit. No, it's, it's like, cool. uh, really nice. Um, I don't know whether this is a puzzle as well, because I think you get something with fire later on. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's 
pretty neat. What does get me though is the um, the music. So have you seen how like as soon as you drop off the broom, two seconds later the music just glitches back to the old one. Yeah, it's a little. But this one just gives me so much nostalgia. It's Jeremy Soul doing another yeah. wonderful piece. Yeah, it is pretty spectacular. It really goes well because it, it like I think with a worse piece of music it wouldn't feel anywhere near as good. No. But this really elevates it to think, well, I'm actually exploring Hogwarts. Look at all the wonder here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, there that is, is super a cool. there is somewhere that you can go actually that you can't normally. So there's that bridge that you can never normally get to, which is fine. Um, oh, but there is it somewhere else as well. I... Can I go into these doors? No, most of the doors you you can't go anywhere near because they. Uh. Fair. It's a shame. This is one thing I wish one of the games would have done well. Is like had the whole castle and you being able to go around here, but obviously because they were the ones that would be designing the inside of a building work like this for the first time. And mm. It's a shame that we never got I got that. That's what could happen on a hard RPG. Make it happen, please. Like you know. Yeah, I I would really like to see. Um, oh. Um, oof, oh. Okay. Please that was off. fun. Okay. <laughs> Like you, that was, that was a thing. <laughs> oh wow, that music as well, right. glitching back that, and forth. That was good. Uh, maybe the small oh. one. Oh, confiscated Ooh, items. Com Let me in. That's the secret place. I don't. I think we can get a key to that. That might be. Um, let me have a look because I remember that. Well, I guess. We'll, I think. Uh, I guess we'll move on to the next day. Press X um, to end. One thing we should do is try and spend some beans in the store. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I was told where both of the bean bags were. Uh, bean ba saying it as bean bag sounds very strange. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, oh my! I'm prepared to be disappointed. There is a bit that we'll t I'll, I'll tell you about later yeah. on that we can, we can even the score. Mhm. Mm yes. Jesus Christ. Okay, so they're 43 ahead. Good. Good good for you. My house. Please be first. We really, we really need to know, just care Dead about the last. Life, okay. Uh, As always. Uh, Hufflepuff, please. Have less. Uh, Ravenclaw, no. Why? It's because I'm not born yet. Oof. Okay, that. so we can we can one hundred percent sort this out. Yeah. Um, do you want to get access to the um, confiscated items room? Because I know exactly how we can go and do it. 